Greenville High in Meriwether County has a championship history, winning twice in the 1980s, and they're off to their best start in 17 years with their 8-0 beginning. Under head coach Jeremy Williams, they're on the verge of picking up a title in Region 4 Single A, but not without learning how to handle success and adversity at the same time. Lisa Weiss picks up the story with the Patriots. Jeremy Williams always knew he wanted to be a football coach, and eight years ago he took over a Greenville team that has a rich football tradition with two state titles and 13 region titles, including 11 in a row. Now, last season, Coach Williams led the Patriots to the state playoffs only to lose in the first round, but it was not a total loss. The 13 returning starters on this team gained a great deal of experience and are more focused than ever. When we got there, we just kind of gave up. Cause we kind of got behind like in the second quarter and we kind of got our feeling hurt pretty bad. So we've been working hard on that this year. We've been letting our intensity roll over to the next game, so we'll take one game at a time. Their hard work is evident. The Patriots are off to their best start in over a decade at 7-0, averaging 34 points per game. Uh, the strength of our team this year is the offensive line. Uh, four out of the five for seniors and uh, when they're a good bunch. Everybody give it their all, so it like it's one one team, one leader out here, so make it a team. Defensively, the Patriots are playing with true grit. Anchored by Dennis Benning, who is leading the team in tackles, the Patriots are allowing just nine points per game. Our defense is quick. We play to the ball, to the whistle blow, and we love to hit. We love football. I love to hit. That's one thing we try to pride ourselves on that. When you play us, you're going to know you when you hit. Two years ago, Coach Williams faced his toughest opposition, and it was not on the football field. It was at John Hopkins where he learned that he had ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. His plan of attack? Face it head on and not let the disease get the best of him, inspiring those around him along the way. Well, he's a strong man. He knows God going to use him as a vessel to deliver his mission and everything he can. And He's, he's a strong man. He, he don't give up. Toughest man I've ever met in my life. Going through all this uh, adversity and facing it head on, and uh, they feed off that. They know, they know this special year. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I always do, and I'm gonna let keep me from doing anything I don't want to do. So really, I had to the whole lot. Other than me having to ride around with golf cart time, and on Friday night getting tired, and then my speech sometimes they can't understand what I'm yelling about. But uh, other than that, we, we keep doing what we're doing. And it's a good lesson for them to know that no matter your, your circumstances, you keep doing and keep pressing towards the goal. For Prep Sports Plus, I'm Lisa Weiss.